Hello, viewers. Happy New Year. We want to talk to you about the new prophecies the servant of God, Prophet TB Joshua, gave as we crossed over from the year 2019 to the year 2020. We want to call to your attention how important they are and how seriously we all should take them. But before we talk, let us show you some prophecies he gave some time, some years ago. Take a look at this prophecy from our archive. God is still saying something. Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. When God's servant speaks forth, the wise listen. Deuteronomy 18 verse 22. God is still saying something. On the 26th of July, 2009, during a Sunday life service at the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet T.B. Joshua gave a call to pray for the nation Iran. These were his words. In Jesus' name, pray for the nation Iran. Please open your lips and pray for the nation. Prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. God intervention. On Sunday, the 6th of November, 2011, Prophet T.B. Joshua gave another prophetic message about the nation Iran. He called for peace between the nations, specifically Iran and Israel. He then called on the congregation and viewers to pray for God's intervention. We should pray for a nation to nation. That was a prophecy I gave, pray for a country Iran and other super nation that crisis, I said it three years ago, it is very close now. I want everyone be on your knee. We don't want crisis again. We don't want war again. We don't want attack again. Whatever God will do to put a to crisis to nation to nation. I'm seeing crisis between this country. Be on your knee and pray. Ask God, we need peace. God intervention. It's close now, very, very close. I'm seeing an attack, I'm seeing fight between nation to nation. Three years ago, and I mentioned particularly Iran that you, they should pray. Pray for God intervention. And God should settle every differences. Ask God for intervention for that nation and other nations. We don't want it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Because the world, world, world is not going to bring solution to the world, world. Rather, crisis, crisis. We want God intervention. God intervention. God intervention. God's intervention. God's intervention. In the whole world. God's intervention. God's intervention, we need God's intervention in the whole world. Intervention, God's intervention, intervention, Father, we thank you. We want God intervention, whatever differences between nation to nation. We pray for the nation Iran. We pray for the nation Israel. God intervention, whatever differences. Father, with you, all things are possible. We know to your power, everything is possible. Father, we thank you. Pray for God intervention. We know our God. Is able. Is able. More than able. To accomplish what concerns me today. He is able. Much more. 
On Sunday, February the 5th, 2012, Prophet T.B. Joshua referred to the prophetic message he had been speaking about for the past three years concerning tension between the nations of Iran and Israel. He then illustrated what would occur between the nations if the tension continued and gave a call to pray for the whole world. Last year, I remind you what I said three years ago, that pray for a nation Iran. And I also say I'm seeing a, a tension between Iran and Israel. I now said it last year, I say, what I was talking about is very close. The tension of I want to fight, you want to fight, is close. So any moment from now you hear it. And we all went on our knee. Because if that should happen, it will be very serious than any other one you have ever witnessed. We went on our knee and we begged God. But the prayer we offered that day, I know it will not go in vain. Now, we, we follow the prayer. They will continue to discuss, coming to a kind of compromise agreement, and so on and so forth. This will continue to drag until the full understanding come. But we should not stop praying because a break in prayer, what will start? Let us pray. This one will be different from others. This is why we don't want fight. If this kind of fight start, every other you have read about is an atom. This one will be an element. You know atom to element. How big is the size? So that's it. This one is not an issue of uh, fighting the country to country, but the whole world should begin to pray that this should not happen. They should come to understanding and their law. Because if this thing happens, many countries will join in support of others. <laughs> Trouble has come. And it will not be issue of, come on, come on. I'm talking to you, you are talking to me, it's between me and you. I would not agree. 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 I would not. I would not. I would not. God should stop two of us. If not, come. You want to support this man to fight me. You want to support me. You want to support this man. Come. You want to support this. You want to support me. You want to support me. What is coming? World War. Sit down. So I'm talking to you in parable. This is the only way I can say it. So this is why I say it's not like others. The whole scenario is not like others. So please, we should be very careful all over the world. It's not like others. Other may just go. But this one, it will spread. So please, dialogue, settlement. So thank you. Rise up, rise up for this moment. I want us to bow down our head and pray to God for peace all over the world. Maintenant, baissez la tête et prions pour la paix partout dans le monde. Pray that the war to be ready to chip ground in Jesus Christ's name. We pray. Amen. We pray that they should chip ground. Chip ground means leave the place. I say I will not leave. Well, okay, okay, I will leave this place. Compromise means overlook some certainty to give chance for peace. So please, every Monday from now, I want you to be on your knee in your home and begin to pray for the whole world.
You've heard the word of prophecy. Now remember Prophet Jeremiah's word of prophetic warning concerning the nation Israel. That word was fulfilled after 23 years. The scripture in Jeremiah 25, verse 3 to 4, reads, For 23 years, from the 13th year of Josiah, son of Ammon, king of Judah, until this very day, the word of the Lord has come to me, and I have spoken to you again and again, but you have not listened. And though the Lord has sent all his servants, the prophets, to you again and again, you have not listened or paid any attention. This means a prophet shall say that which he shall live to see accomplished. Please, let us not joke with these prophecies. Listen to what Prophet T.B. Joshua prophesied concerning the year 2020. Prophecy for 2020, Prophet T.B. Joshua. Our prayer warriors are on their knees praying to make sure the changeable ones are changed. These prophecies were released on 28 December 2019 but made available on 5th January 2020. This year will be a year of humility. This year, the Lord will humble us with our challenges. Challenges can be affliction, arrogance, pride, wickedness, or bad habits. To humble us with these is for these things to destroy us or expose us. Let us move closer to God. Two, agriculture will help the economy because the economy will have a backlash. People should invest in agriculture. Let us farm to help the economy. Three, there will be a common medicine that will cause people to be high to die, to commit suicide, to think of what can lead to death. The governments of each nation should watch out and put a check on pharmaceutical drugs that come to the country. Four, America should invest more in agriculture because their economy will be affected. The economy they see today will be affected. So they should invest in agriculture and encourage their farmers. Also, approach to the security issue will affect the candidates and swing voters in the next election. It will be tough in the election. They should pray against a recount. It may be too tight. Five, let us pray for the Nigerian government to be able to finish this year without an interlude that will cause a situation of for and against. Join me in praying for my nation. Six, Vice President, it is not yet over. Expect much more pressure. The pressure will be so much. I pray you will be able to stand the pressure. We join you in prayer. Seven, many sicknesses and diseases that leaders have been treating privately will surface this year. They will become bedridden and many will not make it. Eight, Russia should pray for their leader to avert his being on the sick bed. Something will surface. There is a ladder to go up if this is averted. Nine, an incident will happen to the nation Iran that will cause panic throughout the world. We are praying 
to know the mind of God concerning this. 10. Work of God. People will be getting tired this year because the work of God is not by power and might. Because of so many challenges, tribulations and burdens, they will not be able to bear. 11. United Kingdom. There will be agitation from a section that wants to leave. That will become an issue. Also, pray for the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh against going in and out of the hospital. Pray for God to give them revival. Pray for unity and understanding among the royal family because of what I am seeing. Brexit needs more time to stand on its feet with cooperation of the EU leaders. If not, there will be economic repercussions and the cost of things will become unbearable. With time and preparation, all will be well. This is just part one. Part two will be released after thorough confirmation from God. The rest will be made available on our official social media accounts. Viewers, can you see what is happening now and how much it relates to the present, to the current situation in the world today? Please, let us not joke with these prophecies. The Bible teaches that prophecy never had its origin in the will of man, but men spoke as they were carried along by the Holy Spirit. When God talks, the wise listen.